yard line. Back to back games is 17, and they are really on the march now. It's a first down. A first opportunity upcoming in the red zone for the Saints. First and 10 right at the 20. Ready. You ready? Into the red zone. It's Breeze. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and it'll be a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And Watson has it right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Benjamin Watson from 13 yards out. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Lux with the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. 76, tell him. 76. 76. Two, two. Louie, Louie, Louie. Now go off on first down. It's complete. This is Todd Gurley. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. In on the tackle, Alex Okafor. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. 12, 12. Super. DC, DC. Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going. They'll face a third down conversion attempt here, third and three. Shotgun snap for goal. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. But they're certainly being aggressive here. It's like being a, a sprinter in a 100-meter dash, exploding out of the blocks, trying to push the ball downfield. Guaranteed this defense better be on their toes. They're going to be tested all game. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They are going for it. Golf. And a 
This is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really Ready. look clueless. Ready. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments. And, and the Rams got it. They bring him down. Aaron Donald in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Shotgun now for Breeze. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. the 25 now at the 24. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Throw for it on four. And Gins got it. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. touchdown here in this first half and the Saints are able to cash in for six no oh, he missed the PAT no good on the extra point so a let down there and this will stay a six point ball game Lutz now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> 
that was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but it But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Here's Goff now on second down. Flush to his right. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. On first and ten, Goff. Flushed out right, airing it out deep for Woods. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, 62 yards. And the Rams have tied the game with the extra point to come. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. First down is Breeze. Caught on the left side by Ginn. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. The Saints in the hurry up here. Clock continuing to roll. On second down, here's Breeze. Buying time to his left. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. He was trying to get at that time to Ted Ginn. And it's third down. A little too much air under that one. That could have easily been six points. Yeah, what kind of speed he has is almost impossible, we think, to actually overthrow him. But he did exactly that. I think he probably tried to get it out there maybe just a little bit too quickly. From the gun on third down, Breeze. And the pressure gets to Breeze as he's taken down. I think this is where we see how the game has moved along a little bit. Free safety, no blitz, but reads the play, has no responsibility in coverage, and takes a gamble and goes against the quarterback. Well, is that a spot, though, where when he's coming, the quarterback needs to be able to find somebody or not necessarily? Has to, because with that amount of time coming from the free safety position, someone should break open. It's taken to the 26. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. it away so he throws it away and that brings up fourth down
So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he'll go ahead and field this at the five. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. On first down, Breeze. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Breeze now on first down. Over the middle, it's Thomas. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. Yeah, he is out of bounds inside the 35. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Breeze to throw again. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Ben Watson was the intended target, the tight end. And now it's second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Breeze again here on second and 10. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And Lutz puts this one through. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make this a second down. From the gun, it's Breeze. He goes underneath to Ingram, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll lead here to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He 
Ricochet gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Taken in at the 11. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is... Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. So after the INT, it's Breeze. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Breeze now. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Aaron Donald in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. From midfield, here's Breeze. And a pressure gets to him again. Aaron Donald able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Gurley again here on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Now a first down throw. Goal. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. On second and 10, gone. We got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. The Saints say they have it, and they do. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. 
On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Staying on the ground on first with Camara. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Hey, two, 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 two. Breeze to throw on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? The Saints on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. To throw is Breeze. This is caught by Gibb. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And Lutz's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? Man, they only gave up the field goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because it didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. On first down, it's Gurley. 
Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 12 yards on that one. It earns them a fresh set of downs. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Golf. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Back to the ground game here, Gurley. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Another carry now for Gurley. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the fourth. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Here's Goff. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. This is taken about seven yards deep. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. On first and ten, here's Breeze. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make it a second down. Shotgun now for Breeze. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Breeze now on first down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. That pass play wound up for negative yardage. So here's second and 11. Now, Breeze again. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Mikel Roby Coleman. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Throwing now, gone. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Cameron Jordan in there to bury him for a loss of 11. 
Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Goff. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play. Get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds. Understand your situation as well as just understanding the game. Goff going to throw it. Steps away to his left. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Woods, the intended receiver. He'll look to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. And so much for the game-winning two-minute drive. I think that interception return there pretty much seals the deal. And one thing to keep in mind, in this situation with the score that close, defense isn't backing off and just giving you easy throws. They're playing aggressively as well, and they end up picking that one off and sealing the deal for themselves. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 33. Thomas, the intended target. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. But I think this interception is going to pretty much right an end to this one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Marlin, Marlin. Now it's gone. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. 
That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. From the 21, it's second 14. and 10. 14. 20. Do look. Starting left here. 12, 12. Set. Back to the air. Golf on second down. And he's taken down here by the Saints. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. A shotgun snap for Goff. And he's going to go down again. Charles, in this one, I think the storyline really, the fourth quarter coming into it neck and neck, but they were able to separate, put their foot on the gas, and get the win. And since you mentioned neck and neck, I'm going to stay with a little bit of a horse racing theme. It was that close, and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing theme. Go. Just, I am glad you posted today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.